Okay, uh, so on the bench today, oh, yep, <laughs> hang on, FT 101Z, now this is actually a ZD, obviously, um, it's also a Mark III, so uh, with the um, silver around the outside there, so it tells you a lot, um, and some bright spark at some stage put in a, where did I put it, <laughs> I've got to find the crystal now, hang on, right, continuing on, I <laughs> found it now, uh, they put in a, oh boy, I've got to be able to read this, 41.4875, but I've got to be honest, I'm not reading that very well, but, um, oh yeah, now I can see it now, there you go. Okay, so what they did is, let's turn this radio over and show you exactly what they did. So on the FT101ZD Mark 3s, Mark 1s, etc., even the non-digital, they had this little crystal board, and as you can see here, um, on the far right-hand side, is the 10As right through to uh, 10B, etc. Um, now, I need some more light here because I'm barely seeing this, that's better. So what I've done is I've salvaged a 10A crystal um, here from uh, my mess and taken out the um, one that's here, the 41.4875 meg crystal. And, um, and you would think that'd be the end of it, but no. Now let me show you why. Because I'm just in tune mode some bright sparks tuned it for 27 megs as well. Um, a little bit of an intermittent in this mic actually, in the mic cord. I'm going to put a new cord on it. But um, So, um, the other thing is, it's it's not making great power uh, at all at, on that frequency, uh, that 45 watts. Now, if I was to bring up the spec in, I don't really need to because I know what's going on with it. Um, we'll find that that display wandering all over the place. Uh, it's transmitting, and you know what? Some of the power's coming out on um, 28097. Um, sure, but a lot of it's not. All right, so in here, this is where uh, we're going to make an adjustment. Uh, I don't remember now. I was having a look at the paperwork just before, and it's like, unfortunately not the right paperwork because it doesn't include the work bands. But I'm pretty sure this fella right here on 10A will affect us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep... Uh, this in transmit and we're gonna have a, a twiddle of that while we're having a look at the display also looking at the power at the same time on our side um, but um, it's a little bit difficult to do uh, with um, uh, with this I should have brought my camera uh, stand in just to make this a little bit easier uh, but uh, well, we'll see how we go uh, what I might do though I might actually back off our power a little bit just for this test hang on a tick Okay, so I'm going to have to do this a little bit. Right, so I'm having a look at this, but I'm really keeping an eye on the frequency more than, any, than I am the power at the moment. Now, see what I'm doing? I'm trying to find something where I'm not getting this spread spectrum where it's all over the place. So I'm just going to take it to about there, roughly, where we've got very close to a transmit receive frequency. Still not spot on, but we can work from that, and we can just see what we're doing. All right, so to some degree, um, that actually... Has, I'm just having a look at our power output. Uh, that has sorted us out with the oscillation, and now we can just sort of bring that back up with um, our power levels. Just be a bit careful whenever you're playing around here. There are some real volts along here, along here, along here. Okay, so these are not 12 volts or anything, so definitely don't get your fingers in any of these areas. Always use insulated screwdrivers, etc. Now, let's just have a bit of a look when we put it all back together. Well, not together, but at least in <laughs> where we can view it. Okay, and now we've got this thing tuned out, a little bit more mucking around there, but um, on the bird meter, 100 watts, and there we go. Thank goodness for that. All right, so when you're mucking around with these things, just be careful. Um, look, the people who have put 27 megs into these types of units, uh, sure, they've, they've changed the crystal, and they've generally thought one of these adjustments has got to adjust 27 to get their total 100 watts. Now, yep, that's, that's true. That one of those adjustments do. Generally, they don't pull up a sheet like this, which is a bit of a rough guide because that's not still, you know, a parallel to what you're looking at here. Here's the problem. Generally, a person who's looking to do this is looking to use this as a monoband radio on transmit. They just want it to get peak power on 27 megs, so they will go in and adjust everything through here until they get one that actually adjusts. Now, ideally, that's not a problem for the use on 27 megs, except for the fact that... Uh, Obviously, uh, they've now adjusted every other band and uh, by adjusting these um, pieces through here. And um, all these uh, areas through here 
are an absolute pain to set back up because you've just got to uh, go through and pick each band and um, and actually tune up the um, a particular band to the particular um, cap or um, well they're all caps in this uh, some are just larger than others and yeah it can be a little bit of a, a pain job um, uh, and look, this is why um, if I had to left the um, the video running you would have been here another 20 minutes uh, there's 20 minutes of time gone through while I've been going from one band to the other to get it correct and uh, that's it anyway not hard to change to take 27 megs out of these things and get it back to a, a nice amateur radio and uh, yeah certainly worth uh, worth doing to get it all nice and um, uh, neat but yeah once again be careful in these areas here be careful in these areas all through here um, uh, you know, through there <laughs> um, they are big voltages that you do not need to um, uh, uh, to be putting your fingers into also uh, just of note you'll see a lot of this in here too this little resistor it's a little one ohm um, uh, two watt from memory they do can tend to get a bit charcoal but uh, don't worry too much um, the I mean we see the odd one that's got a problem but uh, generally they measure their one ohm perfectly and they're, they're okay uh, look I do have stocks of the originals here but generally, unless they're, they're actually dead, I don't tend to replace them. Um, uh, they, they, they last forever looking like that. But um, I must admit, I've seen much worse than that. <laughs> I've seen them look like they're in real trouble, but no, they just keep going. Anyway, all right, well, that's it. Just a very quick one on this one, on the FT101ZD. This is a Mark III, as we mentioned. Um, and uh, this is actually my personal one, this one. So uh, I wanted to pick one out for myself, and uh, this one was pretty clean. Uh, so... Um, uh, we do have another Mark III. I think it's going to be going off to a chap uh, who's been inquiring with me. So, uh, and we've had two others go in the last 24 hours. So, uh, there's one Mark III left, but I think that's gone. So, with that, I think there'll be just be one Mark I. But anyway, we'll deal with that. Uh, a lot of this stuff is not getting to adverts because of the fact we've got people who are jumping in early and saying, "Well, hey, this is what I'm after. Please find me one of those." And that's okay. That's great. That saves me having to advertise, which is is excellent. Um, but uh, it is going to take us some time to get through a lot of this stuff. So hang in there. Thanks very much. All the best. 73s, VK3, Charlie Mike.